Oh gosh, are we gonna get a recreation of this moment during award season? Yo, Taylor. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Taylor Swift's Eras Tour hits theaters October 13th, while a movie about Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour comes out in December. Both are probably gonna smash records with how hard it is to afford their concert tickets these days. Let's see what it'll take to top the chart. We have the highest grossing concert films in history in this week's Five for Friday. Live comedy shows are in fact concerts. 2000's The Original Kings of Comedy made household names out of the late Bernie Mac, Cedric the Entertainer, D.L. Hughley, and Steve Harvey. Spike Lee directed the film, shot at North Carolina's Charlotte Coliseum. It was a huge success, taking home 38 million or 67 million when adjusted for inflation. It's certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes and boasts some of the best scores on the list. If you couldn't shell out the big bucks to see Harry Styles, or I mean One Direction, in person, 1D This Is Us was the next best option in 2013. Morgan Spurlock directed the flick, you know, the guy who ate McDonald's for 30 days. The film followed the boy band's London stop on their Take Me Home tour and included footage dating back to their X Factor days. It was 3D because everything was at the time, and it had better than average reviews on its way to making 68 million globally, or 89 mil today. It's a ticket even Uncle Earl could afford. Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus' Best of Both Worlds concert made more than 70 million at the box office. That would be 101 mil today. It opened the same weekend as the 2008 Super Bowl and is the biggest opening weekend ever for a film released the weekend of the big game. I'm guessing there wasn't a ton of audience overlap. This is 15 years before T-Swift made teen girls care about football. The reviews are just okay, but if you had a young daughter in the mid-2000s, you probably saw this one. Before he starred in Shrek and The Nutty Professor, Eddie Murphy was bigger than life on stage. In 1987's Eddie Murphy Raw, he takes on Madison Square Garden fully clad in purple leather. It's a look. Raw brought in more than 50 million at the box office, the equivalent of 133 million today. Inflation's out of control, folks. It had good reviews, though Murphy says some of his jokes now make him cringe. Murphy planned to return to the stage in 2020, but we all know what happened there. Before Bieber was catching flack for the way he dresses to get donuts, he was one of the biggest pop stars on the planet. 2011's Justin Bieber Never Say Never raked in $99 million, or 137 mil today. Despite being the top grossing to date, it's the worst reviewed film on this list, and the follow-up, Justin Bieber's Believe, didn't do any better. Surprise, surprise, not one of these landed on Rolling Stone's best concert films of all time. And Martin Scorsese directed two of those. That is Five for Friday, I'm Simone Del Rosario, and it's Just Business.